Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Our dear students, uh, welcome you all to the Hundredshire Pharmacy. Every class. Today is our ninth lecture entitled Equipment Use for Ornaments, Face, Gel, and Jelly. Recording from the previous lecture from the industrial pharmacy, every class in which we have discussed discussion on the semi solid dosage form including the ointments, paste, gel and jelly and we have also discussed the difference between the semi solid dosage form and the difference between the various aspects which must be considered if we focus on the semi solid dosage form and uh, specifically we have discussed the ornaments paste at how much quantity of the solid is included in the paste and gels and jellies that's between the difference between the gels and jelly and how paste include the insoluble solid content and to the lecture the main objective is to learn about the equipment used for the semi solid dosage pump including these uh, semi solid dosage pumps, ointments, paste, gel and jelly dear student after the completion of this lecture you will be able to learn about the various equipment that is used in the preparation of semi solid dosage pump including ointment, paste, gel and jelly first of all we will discuss the equipment used for ornaments that how we will prepare the ornament in the pharmaceutical industry mostly ornament manufacturing plants that is available in the pharmaceutical industry the design may vary from industry to industry but commonly the ironman manufacturing plant consists of a set of equipments that is uh, designed for ointments, gel, cream and lotion and having the capacities that is ranging from 5 kg to 1000 kg in most cases it is up to 1000 kg but it may be varies from industry to industry it may be up to 5000 kg as well and the ointment manufacturing plant is not only for the manufacturing of the ointment but it is also designed for preparation of gel, preparation of creams and preparation of lotions as well. The minimum capacity that is most popularly used that is from 5 kg to 1000 kg capacity plants are available and may be varied from industry to industry but may be up to 5000 and well. There are some prominent equipment that is a part of the semi-solid logic farm equipment and most of the equipment used in the pharmaceutical industry consists of the following three uh, following ten parts or ten parts of the equipment are available 
in order to process the semi solid dosage pump, including the ornaments, gels, creams, and lotion processing. These equipments are the first one is water phase vessel, second one is back phase vessel, and the third equipment used in the manufacturing vessel. The fourth one is homogenizer tank, and the fifth one is storage vessel. The sixth part of this uh, plant is transfer pump. The seventh part is metering pump. The eighth part is enter connecting pipeline, which are enter connected one vessel to another one or during the filling it is connected to the final container in which the formulations are developed or prepared and these are uh, connected with one another. The ninth part is electrical control panel in order to control the electric energy supply as well as uh, the last one that is a tube filling machine in most of the equipment that is used in the pharmaceutical industry so it consists of these 10 parts of 10 equipments and the combined the, these are the semi solid or the ornaments plant Maybe not only used for the ironment, but also for the cream, for the gel, and for the lotion as well. Let's discuss these parts one by one. It is water phase vessel. It is also termed as jacketed cylindrical tank. The water phase vessel is a jacketed cylindrical tank to a spherical dish end that is the most popular part of the equipments from the water phase vessel or it is also termed as jacketed cylindrical tank remember that it's having to a spherical dish end now let's come toward the door to a spherical dish end you can see the tourist spherical condition that it is a special design for the ointments or the semi solid dosage pump and uh, this is a special design and that is termed as tourist spherical their shape is uh, just just like that one their uh, the end is uh, just like that particular design and uh, you can see that this is the design for the uh, surfaces or the ends of the uh, dish that is used in the pharmaceutical industry for the manufacturing of the iron mat as well uh, and uh, more prominently this is another diagram showing the storage pericle dish end you can see this diagram as well that is the storage pericle design it is a special design for the uh, equipment uh, used in the manufacturing of the ornaments as well and that is uh, the diagram you can see that it, this is a spe uh, special design and uh, this uh, dish design uh, that is their dish end is uh, just like it is termed as the tourist spherical dish and you can see this one 
that is a more prominent design and this shape and the end is uh, termed as uh, descent termed as torispherical descent and this one is also another block diagram of the dish head or dish end that is termed as torispherical dish end remember that water phase vessel uh, having the uh, torispherical dish ends a propeller type stiller is provided for irritating the liquid the liquid which is used in the formulation and it containing the water phase and uh, water phase uh, agitation is provided using a propeller type stirrer or mixer so the mixing device a propeller that i have told you earlier about the mixing devices here and the water phase vessel a propeller type propeller uh, is used for the mixing device or agitating the liquid another one vessel that is used in the manufacturing of the same solid dosage pump for the ironment plant is uh, formed as wax phase vessel the wax phase vessel is a jacketed cylindrical tank with torispherical descent this is also having the design that i have told you in the water phase vessel it is also special design and the arrangements are for spherical shape that i have told you earlier here also a propeller type stirrer is provided for agitating the wax or oil here wax is agitated or oil is agitated because it is a wax phase vessel a conical filter filters out impurities before the wax is transferred to the manufacturing vessel here a filter is also installed in the manufacturing vessel in order to filter out the impurities after the processing the process material is passed through the conical filter why the conical filters are used because to filter out impurities because in the manufacturing vessel that is a final vessel where the manufacturing is uh, done and the wax phase vessel ingredient and the another one there water phase vessel vessel ingredient these are incorporated in the manufacturing vessel after processing in the wax phase vessel a conical filter is uh, also installed in order to filter out impurities before the wax is transferred to the manufacturing vessel these two the first one the water phase vessel and then the wax phase vessel is are connected with the third one that is manufacturing vessel the manufacturing vessel is also a jacketed cylindrical vessel with a conical bottom and anchor type agitator the purpose of this vessel that is a manufacturing vessel it is used to mix the basket product from the water and wax phase vessel i have told you that the first that is water phase vessel ingredient and then the second that is the wax phase vessel it is connected with the manufacturing vessel and the purpose of the manufacturing vessel is to mix the viscous product that is uh, already in the water and the wax phase vessel that is transferred to the manufacturing vessel as well. another part that is homogenizer tank homogenizer tank is used with the manufacturing vessel the main objective of this homogenizer tank is to reduce the particle size to the desired limit and the second advantage is to promote uniform mixing particle size reduction is done by the homogenizer tank which is used with the manufacturing vessel 
and it is also responsible for promotion of the uniform mixing. Uniform mixing is done and the particle size reduction is done by using the homogenizer tank. It is used in the manufacturing vessel. After the processing of the particle size reduction and the uniformity and content uh, mixing, the pep water is formed as a uh, storage vessel. The storage vessel is a uh, tank with a conical bottom in which the product is collected and stored until it is transferred to the filling line. The filling lines are free, then it is directly from the storage vessel uh, connected to the filling line and the proper tubes or the proper containers are filled. It is not free and already some other batches are filling over there. Then uh, the storage vessel is responsible for the storage of the uh, product. It can be also provided with anchor type sterile and a jacket as per requirement to preserve the formulation. Another part that is transfer form. The transfer form that is pen log is used to transfer the product from the manufacturing vessel to the storage vessel. How we will transfer the material and the product from the manufacturing vessel in which we have processed or manufactured to the storage vessel, we will definitely use a form that is termed as transfer form. Metric pump is a positive displacement pump through which the product can be transferred to the filling line at the controlling control flow rate. After the storage, when we desire to fill the product in the suitable container or tube, we introduce this product to the filling line and for filling the metering pump is used to provide the control flow rate to the filling line area and finally the filling in the final container or tube. If it is not controlled then there will be some container or uh, some tubes uh, having the less quantity or uh, some having the larger quantity and there will be no content uniformity and uh, weight adjustment or volume adjustment in the final container. For this purpose the metering pump is very essential to provide the uh, control flow rate to the filling line. Interconnected pipelines are also provided for the plant as per the layout, the different uh, parts that I have told you earlier, that is the first one that is a water vessel and a wax vessel, a manufacturing vessel, a storage vessel. These are interconnected with the pipeline in order to provide the transfer the safe and edge transfer from one vessel to another vessel and from the storage container to the filling line as well the interconnected pipelines are designed or provided as per the layout of the plant all pipes are electro polished from the inside Control failure is also very important part of the plant that is used for the ointments or the semi-solid dosage pump. The electrical control panel houses are the necessary component. and control needed to operate the plant.
Just like in computer, we use the control panel for facing the different parameters. Here in the manufacturing plant or in the ornament plants, the electrical control panel houses are very much necessary in order to control and operate the different components of the plant. Custom build automation can be incorporated to improve efficiency and reduce error. The different adjustments are done by the control panel. If we are desirous to provide uh, temperature to a specific vessel, we will definitely control to the control panel. We will fix it from the control panel. If we are desirous to transfer from one area to another area, by the interconnected pipeline, we can adjust the weight, we can adjust the uh, different parameters using the control panel. A very much important uh, part of the plant. Another part is tube filling machine. Tube filling machine is also used for filling out the semi solid dosage form, including the ornaments, cream gels, and semi solid materials. And the aluminium are in plastic tubes, depending upon the suitable packing. Either it is aluminium or in plastic tube, they are to be filled. And for this purpose, tube filling machine is used. And that should not only provide the filling of the tube or the filling of the aluminium or plastic tube, but also responsible for the sealing of the tube. Sealing is also done with the automatic tube filling machine. In most cases, the semi solid dosage form ornaments, cream, and gels are packed in tubes uh, having the weight 5 gram, 15 gram, and 30 gram. In case of the ophthalmic ornaments, typically are packed in small aluminium or collapsible plastic tube that holding the 3.5 gram of the ornament. In case of the ophthalmic ornaments, the frequent uh, packing is provided with the weight of the uh, having the weight of the 3.5 gram of the ornament. But remember that it is already ophthalmic ornament. It may be for the other ornament, but in most cases the ophthalmic garments are packed and small aluminium are collapsible plastic tube having the weight that is mentioned 3.5 gram on the level plan. References uh, this uh, lecture content is taken from the reference book the favorite factors of industry pharmacy third edition pages 559 to 561 and uh, you can view the ornament cream lotion gel toothpaste manufacturing plant is a working principle animation the short review of this video that is uh, you can see the different pipes these are connected with one or another vessel. The different vessel, the prominent vessel can be seen using uh, this piece of video. You can see that uh, that is the Iron Man manufacturing plant. It is not only used for the cream, and uh, it is also used for the ornaments, cream, and that is the capacity of 150 kg. This plant shown in the layout. The first phase that is the wax phase vessel at capacity 150 kg and the second uh, that is the main manufacturing vessel that having the capacity of 300 kg you can see from the back that ornament manufacturing plant You can see the first part that is the water phase vessel capacity of 150 kg and that is the second one that is the back phase vessel capacity 150 kg 
and combining these in the manufacturing there is a main manufacturing vessel the first two are transferred to this one and they're having the capacity of 300 kg and after that the storage vessel from where we will definitely transfer you can see the water phase vessel and first the water phase contents are added to the water phase vessel you can see the processing and the second is wax phase vessel the wax phase vessel containing the wax parts of the formulation that is incorporated in the wax phase vessel and the main manufacturing vessel the first processed water vessel contents are added to the main manufacturing vessel and second the processed wax are added to the main manufacturing vessel and that is processed the water the wax and powder are combined and they are transferred to this one and main manufacturing vessel after vacuum transfer are transformed from it is transferred to the using the transfer form uh, from the main manufacturing vessel the contents are added to the storage vessel or the storage container using the transport form and uh, you can see the flow from the manufacturing unit to the storage vessel and after the storage vessel these are transferred to the filling line it's a short overview about the equipment used for the semi solid dosage pump or specifically the ointments plants and that is not only used for the ointment but it is also used for the creams gels and lotion and most of the semi solid dosage pump or process used in this uh, ointment manufacturing plant and that's all about the equipments used for the semi solid dosage pump so you can view this video as well and uh, you can make the worm using this piece of equipment there there are this is the diagram you can see there are three prominent containers in the first and then the second that is the last one the right one that is the water phase vessel the second one that is connected with the pipes to the manufacturing unit and the second one that is the wax phase vessel that is the manufacturing vessel and then it is connected to the pipeline and uh, using the proper pump the storage vessel and after the storage vessel uh, that is connected with the uh, filling line or the filling pumps are used uh, for the final packing and uh, that is not only the filling but also the sealing of the uh, aluminium or any other plastic tube that's all about the uh, semi solid dosage pump equipment and the block diagram you can prepare from this it is easy to prepare this diagram and uh, remember that these are the different uh, pipelines that are, that are from this enter connected pipeline this one the first one that is the water that is also connected with this one the second one that is the wax vessel that is also connected with the wax manufacturing vessel remember that that is not connected with this one interconnected five lines are this is the first one that is the water vessel a water phase vessel that is connected with the manufacturing vessel and the second that is the wax vessel that is also connected with this one and after the processing or manufacturing and the manufacturing vessel that is connected with the storage vessel uh, and uh, it is transferred using the pump and uh, this is the storage tank or storage vessel and uh, the other equipment that I have told you uh, like the control panel and different parts 
they are not shown here but uh, we can cannot ignore the importance of uh, those parts that is the homogenizer tank that is a start for the particle size reduction as well as not only for the particle size reduction but also for the homogeneity or the uniformity and the storage vessel or the metering pump that is installed uh, during the filling it is important and interconnected pipelines and uh, electrical control panel which are not shown here but these are just like the uh, control panel it is used in the computer and it is a program also the parameters are adjusted uh, parameters are set according to the formulation need according to the vessel need the temperature and the nasal and the quantity to be added and the weight of the final container or the final filling to be adjusted should be first adjusted or set in the electrical control panel and the tube filling machine is also connected with the final container or the storage container in order to take the final formulation uh, using uh, this piece of uh, equipment. Thank you all uh, for your attention. Uh, inshallah, we will discuss uh, this topic uh, on the online Google Meet class as well. Thank you all for your attention.